Good morning, Collective. Kaisha here. Thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. I appreciate you. And uh, if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share like, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Okay, Collective, this is a gener general energy check, not going to resonate with all of you, so take what resonates and discard the rest. If it's not hitting, that's okay. Click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have something for you at another point in time in your timeline, or feel free to book me for a personal reading. You can also hit me up on the live tarot line, Your Harmonic Wave. All that information and more is located in the description box, okay? All right, let's see what messages Spirit has for you here. Spirit, thank you for your clear and concise messages. My intention is that this reading reaches those that they are meant for to provide them with clarity, empowerment, healing, and all good things. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, you have indecision in reverse. You have women holding a heart. And you have attachment in reverse. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's see what's going on here. Spirit, please clarify indecision in reverse. Please clarify indecision in reverse. Ooh, you got ten of swords here. Spirit, please clarify woman holding a heart. Hmm. Please clarify attachment in reverse. Wow. That's the truth. Wow. Okay. Whoever resonates with this, you have, you've detached from someone and this is mentally, emotionally, energetically, you have, spirits have finally detached from someone or oh, you're on your way. You're at the cusp. Mm -hmm. That's what I just heard. You made a decision that someone is no longer going to be stabbing you in your back or deceiving you or leaving you for dead. Those days are over. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you put an end to that. Some of you could have ghosted somebody, but you're seeing something from a higher perspective here. Mm -hmm. Someone in this collective, you had somebody gaslighting you to lead you to believe that toxic was the way to go, right? Like, put up with all of my mess. That proves that you love me. No, whoever I'm uh, resonating with, you came to a realization that love is not supposed to hurt and it's not supposed to be painful. And what you were in, the relationship you were in, the situation you were in had nothing to do with love. It had a lot to do with control and manipulation. Hmm. I love this. <laughs> you know what I just heard? Asawigo. <laughs> so who in here is West Indian? But it's like you, you kind of just chalked it up to it is what it is. This is a situation now of unrequited love. I feel like the chaser has become the runner. And you no longer have feelings for someone anymore. You poured out their cup. You're not really nice to someone. I feel like a lot of you too, you were, you were trying to, not you were, but someone was trying to groom you to accept a situation of unrequited love. So it's like they don't show you love, but you're supposed to continuously be showing them love. You're supposed to put up with their maliciousness, their spitefulness, their pettiness. Someone was real, real bitchy to you or a real asshole, like in real life, okay, in 4K. And they wanted you to put up with it because that proves to them that you love them. But they never showed you love. I feel like a lot of you are going to be more successful now. Someone in this collective, you are a healer. You are highly respected. You inspire a lot of people. But I feel like you're on your path now and you, that's what you're focusing on. I feel like you are also going to be a lot more successful in this chapter of your life because you are no longer putting up with people's mess, okay? Or their version of love that they're trying to force onto you. You have detached from someone. You are no longer afraid. This could have been a fear of 
being independent, a fear of having to do things by yourself. But someone that's called spirit said you are always doing it by yourself. Someone was gaslighting you into believing that they were helping you or you needed to be around them. And it was their own codependency that they were projecting onto you. You never needed this person. Mm -hmm. And that's the truth. You've seen something. You got some kind of enlightenment. You could have gotten clarity through tarot. You could have gotten clarity through dreams. But whatever it is, you got clarity. And you are you're living in your truth. You're speaking your truth. And spirit spoke the truth to you. That somebody was stagnant and someone was trying to hold you back from moving forward successfully. They did not want you to do this. But it's like um, self-fulfilling prophecy. What they feared the most and what they did not want for you is exactly what happened, okay? So someone could have been acting like um, they didn't need you, you needed them, and they would leave and play games with you, play all these head games with you, thinking that you would come back, trying to manipulate you, right, into coming back and, and submitting to them. But it was because they were afraid that you would leave them, and that's exactly what happened. You left someone out in the cold. You deaded an issue with someone. You, Some of you, you're ghosting someone. You're not even speaking to them, okay? You don't even want to hear from them. Spirit, can I get some more on this um, Ten of Swords? Yes. You are no longer letting anyone break your heart. You've healed from a lot of um, betrayal, okay? Ten of Swords. There is nothing else this person could do to you. They did it all already. Mm -hmm. They did everything. You healed from that. And, and it's because you made a conscious decision in yourself that you're going to be moving forward and you're leaving this behind. Spirit, please clarify death. Please clarify death. Someone never thought that you would have the strength to do that. Yeah. You dead in a situation and someone lost a major opportunity. They missed out on a major opportunity with you. Mm -hmm. But a lot of you, you... You could have realized that you were missing out on opportunities for yourself, opportunities to bring increase into your own life by being with someone. So you said no. You chose yourself. Good for you. Spirit, please clarify the hangman in your voice. You're starting to see something from a higher perspective here and recognizing what it is that you need to sacrifice, okay? And for some of you, it was this relationship that you were in. Mm -hmm. Look, I can't make this up. You realize that you need to put yourself first and choose your first. And that was a choose yourself first. And that was the best move you could have made. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're going to find that you're a lot happier. You feel a lot more fulfilled within yourself. You're learning how to fill your own cups. Okay. You come first. And that's good. Because some of you, somebody ha was grooming you to put them first all the time. Put them first over you. Choose them over you. Because that proved that you love them. No, that's not love. That's a control freak. Spirit, please clarify. A healthy relationship is someone who loves themselves and you love yourself. So it's two whole people coming together. You're not half of nobody. Mm -hmm. You're not a half a person. Spirit, please clarify. Please clarify. Ace of um, Cups in reverse. Yeah, look at this. Oh, I can't make this up. This is beautiful, collective. This detachment that you did... It really helped you to step into your wholeness, okay? Step into your healing. I'm hearing peaceful. You're full of peace now. You're a lot happier. Mm -hmm. I'm, really, I'm feeling an energy of contentment. This is just, it is what it is. And this is not the type of relationship that I want for myself. I deserve better than this. That's the energy that I'm getting from you, Collective. Mm -hmm. So please clarify Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay, a lot of you, you have um, stepped into this energy of building yourself up, okay? Mm -hmm. Self-love is the best love. Yeah. Someone was in and out with you. They weren't serious. Now, this is someone who could come in with a lot of passion, but it's, it's finished just as soon as it starts. It never lasts long with this person, okay? And I feel like you finally got tired of that. This person wasn't very nice to you either. You're dealing with someone who is very pessimistic and spiteful, okay? This is someone who can be very malicious when they don't get what they want. Go around talking about you behind your back. Say the most disgusting things to you when they're upset, when they don't get their way. No. No. Someone wanted you to prioritize them, but they did not prioritize you. Spirit, please clarify. Six of Wands. 
Collective, a lot of you don't even realize it, but people view you as someone who is an overcomer, okay? You overcome major challenges. I'm hearing extreme challenges. Things that other people, they would have caved, they would have crumbled already. But you, not you, you inspire a lot of people. Someone is very jealous of you because you're no longer giving to them. Mm -hmm. You're breadcrumbing them now. The tables have a turned. <laughs> yeah. And they're angry. Somebody is very angry here. I feel like they're very jealous, okay? Because they see you standing in your power, embodying your essence, all of who you are. Someone in this collective, you don't back down. <laughs> no, you don't. Mm -hmm. And someone is seeing that. And it is just, a, it's bothering them, okay? Because someone thought that they were going to have you in an energy where they could manipulate you into coming back and submitting to them and giving to them. But that the exact opposite happened, okay? They got cut off and cut out, and you're not giving them nothing. Spirit, please clarify. Yeah, this person is very jealous of you. Because they don't understand how it is that after everything that they did, after everything, I'm hearing all the darts that they threw at you, how you were able to dodge them, okay? You dodged them like Neo in the Matrix, okay? In slow motion for me. Yes, you did. And they're just like, how did you do this? Other people see that too. Some of you, you have, um, is it mutual friends or family members that seen what someone did to you and how you overcame the challenge, how you overcame the fight, okay? So I'm hearing spiritual attacks for some of you, mm -hmm. right? But someone didn't know that you were a whole God, goddess reincarnate. They didn't know that, but they found out. So please clarify, Ace of Swords, yeah? They could be jealous a little more. The only reason why they're jealous of you is because you're not, they see how successful you are and how well you're doing it. And now they're not here to, um, what, what is it? Partake in the spoils or eat off of your table, right? After you worked yourself up, after you overcame all these challenges and you're doing well for yourself. Other people are noticing this. It's like the respect, the accolades, the inspiration that you're giving to other people. This is what this person wanted, but they went about it the wrong way. And now you're getting what it is that they wanted. And now they're not there to enjoy it with you. They're not by your side. And to add insult to injury, you're not giving them anything anymore. Spirit, please clarify Ace of Swords. Yeah. Now that you've detached, you're in this energy of seeing the truth. And you're trying to figure out what direction to go in. Mm-hmm. You're keeping your moves to yourself, though. A lot of you are being very strategic, okay? You're moving in silence. This is another reason why this person's upset. Or someone around you is upset. So please clarify. Um, Knight of Coins in reverse. The truth is, you know that. Look at this. You know that someone was trying to keep you stagnant. But the wheel of fortune has turned in your favor. Okay, you have good luck on your side. You have blessings on your side. And that is about to change for you if you were feeling stagnant because you have released yourself. Some of you may not have even realized at first, you didn't realize that someone was holding you back and from moving towards success, okay? A successful chapter in your life because someone had you always caught up, okay? In your feelings, focused on them, what they're doing, what they're not doing, who they're doing it with, how they're treating you, how they're not treating you. Just a whole bunch of scattered, scattering your energy, right? So you can't harness it and direct it towards a certain project or something that you want for yourself. Now that you have taken your energy back, this person doesn't like that. You released yourself from something that was extremely toxic. Yes, you did. Okay. And this was destined to happen. This was faded. And this was just a matter of time. Okay. So whoever in this collective, if you feel like you were stagnant for a while, that is about to end. Yes, it is. Because you separated from someone who was intentionally trying to hold you back. They did not want to see you successful. They did not want you to get respect from anybody. For some of you, you're with someone who would go around saying things about you to try to um, manipulate people's energy towards you. So they try to get people to look at you a certain way. But the truth always comes out. Spirit, please clarify the period in reverse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Someone in collective, either you just realized or you're about to realize that you needed to stop putting energy into somebody because it was not going to, it was not in this lifetime. It was never going to get you anywhere. Mm -hmm. 
Some of you could have realized that someone was using you or someone was just dead ass lazy. Mm -hmm. Right? Or keeping you in a very complacent, complacent, stagnant energy. Some of you in this collective, you're dealing with an energy vampire. You just, when you would think of ideas and things that you wanted to do to yourself, you just had no motivation to do it, right? And it's because this person was draining you. Right? You learn how to pour into yourself. Someone, um, I saw a quote today. It was like, it's, it, this season, it's time for you to stop water, watering other people and recognize that you are the garden, right? And start watering yourself and allowing others to water you too. Right? Because you, you need to grow as well. Okay, okay, Spirit. Oh, let me use this deck. I haven't used this deck in a while. Can I get some more messages for the collective, Spirit? Can I get some more messages? Someone sees that you're not playing with them anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do. And they're so jealous of you. Some of you, this is a feminine energy. I don't like her energy. Okay. This is someone who sees that they can't um they can't draw you in anymore. Mm -mm. It's not gonna work. Yeah, look at this dual team. So a lot of you, you're learning how to balance your light and your shadow, polarity. You're learning that the good, the so-called good comes with the so-called bad, right? You're learning that your shadow and your light, they're, they're one and the same. They're all aspects of who you are. That's why I felt earlier that someone's stepping into their wholeness. You are not perfect, but you, you have accepted, learn how to accept yourself for just who you are. Okay. And that's awesome. Okay. Body balance. I feel like some of you are learning how to um, take better care of yourself, mind, body, and soul. You could be eating better, exercising. Someone, you're coming up with some kind of regimen here that's helping you to feel more whole within yourself. This is about wholeness here. Someone wanted or some people around you wanted you to feel like you were a piece of something or you were fragmented or you, you needed them to make you something. And then you're realizing that you just need yourself spirit your guides your angels your ancestors and the beautiful energy that spirit sends into your life right mm -hmm. speak your truth growth <laughs> i told you growth hmm. spirit what's speak your truth please clarify speak your truth Yeah. Okay. Someone lied to you. Okay. Now they could have told you that they wanted to be in a higher level of commitment with you or, but really this person, they wanted an alternative lifestyle. Some of you, you were with someone who made it seem like you were the only one, but they really wanted to be single. This person could be a commitment fold here, but this is somebody who's not connected to the divine or they believe that they're not, okay? We're all one. I'm hearing immersed, immersed in the illusion, okay? So someone's still very much a, a participant in the matrix here, okay? And they think that they're by themselves and they're not connected to anybody and it's, it's them against the world and it, that's not what it is. But this person... They could have told you one thing, but inside they meant something else, okay? Someone lied to you. They did not want to be in a high level of commitment. This person, like I said, they actually wanted to be single or live some kind of alternative lifestyle. Someone is in the closet here, and I don't even get that because it's 2023. You got men turning into women, women turning into men, and you're worried about if you're um, bisexual or homosexual. Nobody cares about that stuff, right? Be who you are. Somebody was not being real with themselves. They could have said that they like the opposite sex, but they like the same sex. It's 2023, honey. Just be yourself. Right? They said that they wanted to work with you or work on something, but really they did not have anything to offer you. Like they really look at this. Ten of, ten of coins. They really had nothing to offer you. They really did not want that. They lied to you. They weren't speaking their truth.
But Spirit said it was a lesson for to teach you how to speak up for yourself. Speak your light. I'm hearing speak it into existence. So the things that you wanted for yourself, instead of trying to get it from someone else, create it yourself. We all create our own reality here. And that is what it was a challenging, very challenging lesson. Whoever I'm speaking to this cycle, it was long. It was difficult. But you got through it. You've grown so much. Now you're like, look at this, you're nine of coins by yourself instead of being with someone who can't offer you one coin, right? This is someone who promised you 10 of coins and never kept one promise that they made. So you decided to keep your promises for yourself. Good for you. And this is a lesson. Spirit wanted you to bet on yourself because you're not going to let yourself down. Once you made that decision, that conscious decision, that you're going to do what you're going to do for yourself. That's that's what spirit, well, that's the energy spirit wanted you to get in. You're whole. You don't need this person. I'm hearing unequal contribution. So you were the one that was doing all the heavy lifting anyway. Spirit, please clarify, girl. This person's a fucking bullshit artist. Look at this. They lied to you. They told you they want a higher level of commitment, but they really didn't. Then they're gaslighting you, telling you, oh, let's keep working on this. You got to fight for the relationship, blah, blah, blah. But they didn't have, they weren't, weren't planning on keeping one promise that they made to you. This person likes to play a lot of games too. Yeah, but they're not playing with you. This person was a poor risk. Yeah, they were. Someone could have been trying to use you for money as well. But someone in this collective, you realize that being with someone was not safe and it was not healthy, okay? And with this devil devil card here, devil in reverse, good for you, man, because something was very toxic. Man or woman, something was very toxic. You did good for yourself. Spirit, please clarify, girl. You escaped the clutches of the devil. Or devils. Yeah, look at this. Growth. This is growth after separating from something that was not stable. It wasn't bringing stability into your life. There was nothing to be happy about. Okay. For some of you, you could have thought that this was your person, right? Your divine counterpart. No, they weren't. They were a karmic. Did you learn the lesson? It looks like you did. That's what they were here to teach you, right? <laughs> Someone feels de defeated by your growth right? Like I said, someone can't gaslight you. They can't manipulate you. They can't intimidate you. They can't bully you. That is not going to work on you. Now this person, they feel like hmm, they feel insecure. Someone's having a hard time taking care of themselves. They could be depressed. Yeah. Someone has some kind of bad hygiene issues as well. This is someone who could be depressed and not bathing and you know, not, they're not taking care of themselves. Hmm. So please clarify duality. Yeah. A lot of you too, you're separating from people that don't resonate with you and don't align with your energy. You don't want anything to do with them. With Like I said, with this devil energy here, people that are toxic, it's a hard no for you. Mm -hmm. And you see it, yeah, because you're healing now. You're not in this energy of being regretful. Oh, this happened and they did this. And it's just like it is what it is. I'm going to keep it moving. Yeah. And you're so much happier for it. <laughs> this is clarity at its finest, honey. Okay. This goes along with uh, um, the hangman in reverse, seeing things from a higher perspective. Like, you know what? Things didn't work out. You put me through a lot. But you helped me go through it. You helped me. Sh you helped show me how strong I am, and how competent I am, and how capable I am. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're a lot happier for this. Good for you, Spirit. Can I get one more on the sun? Yes, you're seeing the truth. You're speaking your truth, and you're being honest with yourself. Some of you realize that some people that you had around you, they just shouldn't have been around you, okay? You had no business with them. Good for you. Let's get some practical words of guidance and advice from Spirit.
So let me just collect, if you had a girlfriend, like a friend that's a female, you could be a male or you could be a female as well. As well, This person was always very jealous of you and they would say things to you to try to sabotage you or get you to sabotage yourself, to try to keep you stagnant. This is someone like if you have a business idea and you tell them about it, they're like, oh no, you can't do that, you know, stay where you are. Because they didn't want to see you move forward because they know that you would pass them, okay? This person was toxic and low vibing. This could have been someone that always wanted to party and, and have a lot of addictions. And you could have shared those addictions at the same time, you know, you know, like when you have a smoking buddy or a drinking buddy. But now that you are working on yourself, someone in this collective, you may have um, broken habits or patterns or you're going, I'm hearing AA, someone you are working on quitting smoking and stuff and, and you don't really have anything in common with these people anymore. That's growth, okay? Look at this. You're going to start meeting people that are on the same path that you're on. You're going to start meeting people that want the same things that you do. They're going through the same things you're going through. Okay, so whoever I'm speaking to, if you quit a, um, an addiction or you're working on an addiction, you're going to meet other people who are doing the same thing too. Those are the type of people Spirit wants you to be around. Not someone who you say that you quit drinking and then you go over to their house and they have a Hennessy bottle like, yo, drinks up. Just take a shot. Don't worry. You can quit tomorrow. No. You want to be around someone who's like, oh, you quit drinking. I quit drinking too. Let's go get some water. <laughs> yeah. Or you want some orange juice? They support you because they're supporting themselves. Take a deep breath, okay? Spirit said you can breathe now. Some of you are walking around on eggshells with people. Take a deep breath, a cleansing breath now to clear your mind. Some of you, this is about meditation as well. You could be doing that. Create a calm and relaxing schedule to reduce stress today. Some of you, you need to just um, not be, try not to be so busy. Okay, the spirit said don't. Okay, I've been corrected. Sorry, spirit. Spirit said don't try. Do it, okay? Make time for yourself. That's how you grow. Learn calming, breathing techniques to use during stressful moments. Someone in this collective spirit said you're feeling tired because you're tired. <laughs> they said stop overlooking the obvious. It doesn't serve you to push through being tired. Listen to your body. Honor your sensitivities. Remain steady on course rather than waiting for others to catch up to you. Baby, I cannot make this up. This is exactly what's happening. This is confirmation. A lot of you move past some people and they're upset about that. And they're jealous because they see that you're a lot more successful without them than you were with them. Spirit said, stay focused, remain steady. Okay, slow and steady wins the race here. Use deep breathing to cultivate awareness. So some of you, breath work is a really good idea for you. You are breath, okay? You are consciousness, okay? Mm -hmm. You can breathe now. I'm someone, I just feel like someone was just holding their breath, walking around on eggshells, trying to not disturb. Spirit, you're trying to not to disturb someone's peace who was never peaceful, so you might as well just do what you're doing because it doesn't matter what you did. This person would always have a problem. Something would always be wrong. So it's a no. I don't need to deal with that. Cultivate peace within yourself so that you'll be attracted to people who are peaceful. So you don't have to do stuff like that. It just flows. Create what feels good. Come up with a creative solution to a problem today. Take an artistic class. Spirit setting you up here to go be around people that are like you to match the reality that you're creating for yourself, okay? Just go with the flow, collective. Bring your creative ideas to life by having the courage to share them with the world. Some of you, this is this goes back to that six of wands. Whatever it is that has been placed upon your heart, whatever that has been sprinkled in the ethers and you picked up on, go and do it, okay? It's for you to do. Focus on creating good vibes. I'm, I'm seeing hashtag good vibes only in my third eye. Like I said, Anything, anyone, any experience that is toxic, you it's a hard no for you, okay? It's a hard pass. Create what feels good in order to achieve success and to inspire others, okay? Whoever I'm speaking to, you can have some platform or spirit is, is guiding you to create some kind of platform to either tell your story or share what you've learned, your wisdom, your knowledge, even helping other people overcome things, overcome challenges. I'm seeing a lot of... um. On Instagram lately and TikTok, I've been seeing a lot of videos of people who have survived narcissistic abuse, and they're very helpful. I've seen videos of dead-ass diagnosed narcissists. 
using their platform to show people the little tricks and tactics that these motherfuckers do to people so that you know and you see them. So you, you save yourself all that trauma of dealing with these things and not knowing, right? Because you lack clarity. So use these things. You don't know how your story can help somebody, but you inspire others. Like I said, some of you, you don't even realize it, but people have seen what you've been through and you give them hope, you give them faith, you let them know that strength comes from within, okay? And you can overcome anything, just keep going. Nice. Collective, this is what I have for you. If any of it resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool another time. With that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night, and I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.